Hello Leatherneck fans, Patrick Osterman alongside head football coach Mark Hendrickson for a look at Leatherneck football summer update. Coach, we're on location here in the locker room. We got some of the players working out in the weight room. I know they're hard at it this summer, but I know you and your coaching staff certainly been hard at work this summer, getting ready for the what we anticipate is going to be a very exciting 2011 football season. And really it all starts with, in another couple of weeks, football camp coming up for the young kids. You've got a June 25th camp coming up in Chicago. You've got June 26th the next day here on campus. How are your numbers looking for your summer camps? Oh, the numbers are look excellent, Patrick. Uh, we're, we're very excited about this the upcoming next weekend with the camps. Um, as you mentioned, uh, Saturday, June 25th, we'll be in Chicago. Um, if anybody still wants to join us, they still can. And, uh, and then the following day on Sunday, June 26th, we'll be right here on our practice fields and uh, with our camp right here on campus. Now, with the practice fields, normally we'd be on Hanson Field, but we'll have more information later here in the next couple of weeks about the exciting renovations going on over at Hanson Field, the new turf getting installed, but we'll talk more about that on GoLevenX.com here in the next week or two. But as you said, some great numbers coming up for camps football season right around the corner and for those who want information still not too late to sign up like coach Hendrickson said 309-298-1515 is a football office or just log on to go11x.com and coach in addition to the summer with the camps going on you also received in addition to the defensive unit talk a little bit about the newest Levenek we have on campus we did uh, we, we, we were specifically looking for a defensive nose guard um, and unfortunately, uh, we found a very, very cold young man and an outstanding football player. Uh, we've got a young man that's on campus right now, that's uh, attending school here and, 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 and going through workouts with his teammates. And uh, uh, Mecca graduated from University of Notre Dame um, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, obviously, he had registered his freshman year at Notre Dame. And so he has a year of eligibility left. He's in graduate school here now, and uh, you know, we're very excited about the addition of a method to the team, and, uh, you know, and we're glad that he's here right now to meet his new teammates, uh, get to know this campus and, and the community, and, and, and he's, he's very excited to be here. Coach, I know uh, this is a great opportunity for your staff to get away, spend some time with their family. I know you've had an opportunity to do that. And for your family, it's been a very exciting summer so far. Your son Davis, a member of the Illinois baseball team, they won the Big Ten tournament title. They go on to the NCAA regionals, had a great run out in Fullerton, California, before eventually losing to the regional champion Stanford. But unfortunately, you and your wife Erica did not have a chance to go because you already had a prior commitment Let's talk a little bit about your recent trip uh, down to Havana, Cuba, and what all that entailed. Sure, that, that is true. We, we'd like to have been in California with, uh, with Davis. Um, uh, but fortunately, uh, the line I, as you mentioned, had a good baseball uh, season. And, uh, and Davis was really on to be able to play, play a role in that. He was on the all regional team uh, after that regional tournament out, out in California. Um, and, uh, but Eric and I, as you mentioned, uh, we had already committed uh, close to a year ago to, to take a, a, a work mission trip through our United Methodist Church to Havana, Cuba. And uh, uh, of course, if you're a United States citizen, you can't just travel to Cuba at any time that you choose. But, but about a dozen years ago, the U.S. Treasury Department set up uh, a plan with, with the Methodist Church of, of, of the United States, along with the government of Cuba, to allow a dozen, a dozen people from the Methodist Church to travel to Cuba every month. And, uh, um, and, and I went there seven years ago as well through our Methodist Church here in Macomb. And uh, it takes about that long because of course there's a lot of churches that want to participate. And, uh, um, and, and it came up uh, again about a year ago. We, we, we looked at our calendar and we thought, well, this will be a great week to go. Um, uh, not anticipating the baseball yeah. team advancing as far as they did. Uh, but but it, it, it was a, it was a a very, uh, really powerful experience, no question about that, in Havana, and uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was a very, very positive trip, to say the least. Now, when you went down there, were there many people um, from in and around Havana, were they familiar with American football? Um, they, they, they were not. You know, they, they, they are not. They, they weren't seven years ago, and they still are not today. Um, I did take a couple of American footballs with me. Um, got to introduce it to, to, to a few of the young people that I met, 
um, that were there at the church. Uh, they were very excited. It was the first time they had held an American football, and they'd been able, of course, they threw it, they caught it, they had a great time uh, um, learning some of the basics. And uh, so that was, uh, it was a great way to build relationships very easily, that's for sure, was through the sport of football. What were some of the projects that you and uh, the others took place while you were down there? Well, it was a work trip, and uh, the main thing that we did was, was uh, believe it or not, we were digging holes, you know, through stone inside of the church, where they, they will then put in cement pillars that will rise up and hold up a second floor that they're building above their current church. Um, and then other than, other than the, the building every day, the physical labor of, of that Monday through Friday, obviously a lot of relationships were developed. Um, and as, as, as the pastor there said at the end of the week, uh, you know, there, even for a lot of people that, that don't attend that church in that neighborhood, you know, obviously the whole neighborhood, the whole area was, was buzzing that there were Americans who were here because they don't see Americans there very often. Um, they knew that we were from the United States. They knew that we were we were there uh, people of faith. They knew we were working very hard to improve their lives. And uh, they were very appreciative, the pastor said. Even the people in that neighborhood that don't attend church, they were very appreciative you know, that, that there were Americans there trying to improve their lives. Is this a trip that you envisioned that you would certainly take again? I know you said you went there seven years ago in addition to here this month. Is this something... You'd like to do again? There's no question about it. I, I was fortunate that that uh, got to hook up with the pastors of the church that, that, that uh, I visited there seven years ago. They visited us on site there. Um, they traveled quite a distance from, from uh, across the country of Cuba, and uh, they had not met Erica before. She was not on the earlier trip, and and so to keep those relationships going, to keep those relationships in place and updated, you know, meant a lot to us. And uh, don't know if I'll ever be back there again, but, but sure, would welcome the opportunity. There's no question, you know, we made a difference in, in a lot of people's lives, and, and, uh, um, and, and they let us know that, so it was a very good feeling. Coach, I know this is a great example of one of the four core university values of social responsibility. I firsthand had the opportunity to see your student athletes out in the community doing service projects, working with the community. You know, obviously, this is a great credit to Mother Nature Football, starting with you and working down to your student athletes. Well, there, there's there's no doubt that we, we're very thankful for for uh, being able to play a great game like like football and, and play at uh, play at, the, at a high level in Division One athletics. And so, anytime you get a chance, simply to help out your local community or, or again the community around the world, you know, we're, we're always anxious to. Do. Well, fans, just a reminder, a lot of the kickoff times for home and road games have been set. Make sure you log on to GoLennonX.com for all the latest football information. Coach, I know it's going to be uh, a very quick summer. Before you know it, it's going to be conference media day, and then players are going to report. Next thing you know, we're going to be kicking off down at San Houston State next uh, Thursday, September 1st. It'll be here before we know it. It'll happen fast. The staff has a lot to do yet this summer, but we're going to get it done and we'll be ready. Coach, we're looking forward to it. We'll have an update on uh, your football camp coming here in the next couple weeks. We'll have another update with you next month. And, before, and like we said, before we know it, September 1st will be here. For head coach Mark Hendrickson, I'm Pat Osterman. Thanks for watching.